Hey Tolerinos, I've got an old toolbox here from Buckeye Salvage. Uh, I looked in it, I opened it up, and I could tell it had lots of goodies in it for me. So I just said, well, how much for the whole box? And I gave $40 for this box. So uh, I think it's worth it. <laughs> so uh, it is kind of a really beat up old toolbox. It's definitely somebody's homemade job, but they had some of these corner bolsters to put on it. And uh, it is strapped together with metal straps here and there. The uh, handle just looks like your standard old sort of handle. And the back has all the same kind of cool decorative hinges. This bit here is especially uh, confusing. Uh, I'm not sure what the point of it is. There's no hole underneath, but uh, it's got a piece of metal here. And I don't know if they were standing on the box, typically, and so they wanted to strengthen it here, or what. I don't know that I'm going to restore this box. It would take a lot of work for something that I don't really need. Uh, I also picked up this 100% uh, pure shellac. It's never been opened. I'm not sure why the, the seal says orange 4 pounds uh, all around it. But it's still liquid inside and uh, this is 100% pure shellac so it may need to be thinned before use but uh, it's definitely old there's no UPC symbol on it anywhere and since Scout Crafter really likes this uh, to put shellac on things I thought well that's probably going to be a lifetime supply for me and my son <laughs> so all right well let's uh, get this box open and see what's inside I'm gonna go through it and just kind of do a quick uh, look through to see everything in there I'm not gonna clean anything up right now so there'll be a follow-up video where I clean things up and identify things a little better I think all right I, I do have to do this on the floor because the the clean spot on my workbench isn't big enough for this so or, uh, let's see what's in here. Ta-da! Alright. Let's just start from the top and work our way down. It's a big, uh, sort of roofing stapler for hammering. Uh, we, we swing it like a hammer. A metric folding rule. <laughs> there it goes. Some kind of abrasive stone for sharpening something. And there's another sharpening stone. A finer stone. A blowtorch of some sort. Lank. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that. A uh, spoke shave, sort of the older style where you hold the blade, but uh, the handle is made of wood. So that's cool. A fine wire brush, a very coarse wire brush, and a medium wire brush. A big tap handle. Does say Wells Brothers, Greenfield, Massachusetts. A uh, hole punch. A small tape measure. Um, not sure what that is got sandpaper in it so I guess it's for some sort of sanding uh, yeah I don't know I'll figure that one out all right a ratcheting screwdriver um, that's unusual this is Fishers or something 
not Yankee or Stanley. Nice little uh, crowbar. Masonry tool. Uh, newer, more modern masonry tool. Whoa. I know what that is. I've been wanting one of these. Um, you attach it to like a breast drill or a brace, you know, here. And then you hook this chain around. And, and as you turn it, it tightens and pulls the tool into the work. Come on. So that's really cool. I've been wanting to get one of those for a long time. Alright, what else we got in here? A soldering tool. A feeler gauge. Double-ended by the looks of it. It's kind of cool. Don't think I have one of those. A very kind of aggressive looking sort of cutter maybe? I have no idea. It's threaded on this end. If anybody knows what that's for, let me know in the comments please. Another little crowbar. Oh, big screwdriver. Mm, not a champion, but still could be a good screwdriver. Some kind of plates. Uh, hey, look what's in the bottom. Bullets. Look like 22 long. Or a long rifle, sorry. Alright. I don't know, there's actually a variety of them in there. Now that I'm looking closely, that one is like shiny silver. Most of them are brass. So I don't know. Let's see. Old piece of wood flooring. Round file, triangular file, and try to work my way across the bottom of the box. Another big drill bit. I'm not sure what these are for. Quite, quite a few of these in here, actually. Hmm. A very big cold chisel. A glass cutter, ruby. Interesting. Another box spanner kind of thing. That looks like a little chuck for a brace. Uh, well, okay, I see three jaws in there, but they're all loose. Maybe the spring is missing or needs replaced. But yeah, that's cool. So you could put that on like an old brace and then chuck up a small round drill bit. Cool. Alright, moving on. Another soldering tool. Again, a more modern thing. Eklund, made in the USA. Cool. A boot scraper. A nail set, sorry, <laughs> a saw set. Come on brain, stay with me. Old modified wood handled screwdriver. A hammerhead, not beat up. I don't see anything embossed in it, uh, stamped in it. So after cleanup, hopefully we'll find something. 
a wood handled super tiny pokey thing probably for putting holes in leather I would guess screw eyes yep I think I'll call it a screw set yeah for uh, centering the screw holes in a hinge file, small wrench, crappy wrench, drills, wood handled pokey thing, point that down, ah, an old uh, brace bit, cool. Wheel. I don't know what that is. It's heavy. It's thick. Anybody know what that is? Please let me know in the comments. Oh, uh, look at that. It's like, uh, got a hook on the end for some sort of stitching. A three-way light bulb adapter, though it's got a fuse screwed into it. I think that's a fuse. <laughs> There's an adapter to change a Edison bulb base into an outlet. A little clamp, Cincinnati tool. Nice. Good markings. A very tiny wood-handled screwdriver. It's about the size of a thumb. A magnetic piece of steel. Interesting. And some more bullets. Aha! Long range, a long rifle. There's the box for what's Seems to be mostly in here. Alright. Oh, I forgot. There's a little shelf over here. It's a very uh, long bristled sort of wire brush, I think. That's typically for soldering tools, but I'm not sure. A uh, changeable blade snip. Stanley. That's cool. It's aluminum body. It's very light. And he has a, and he can change the blade. Cool. Bondus uh, hex wrench set. Missing one. Though there's some in here. Maybe one of them is the missing one. Uh, and it's got the ball end. Cool. And it looks like this little shelf was made with the uh, old wood flooring. A vertical piece there. Hey, I fixed it. <laughs> All right, so that was everything in the box. Uh, if you've hung with me this long, thanks for watching. Uh, I will make a part two where I clean up these things and and kind of show their markings and and show them in a little more detail, especially the more interesting items. Okay, thanks for watching.